Beijing, China. Start. Ni hao! It's the Moon Festival in Beijing, China. Such a special time of togetherness. Let's match the pictures underneath the tiles to make a postcard from here. Hmm, let's keep looking. Drummer, great find. Chinese drummers perform for festivals and national holidays in China. Tea set, wow! Tea is an important part of Chinese culture and is often enjoyed during the Moon Festival. I wonder where we should look next. Fireworks, way to go! In China, fireworks are an important part of Chinese New Year and Moon Festival celebrations. Moon, ooh, nice match! In Chinese beliefs, the full moon represents family reunion. Paper lantern. Whoa! When the moon arrives on the day of the moon festival, families send paper lanterns into the sky. Steamed buns. Cool! Steamed buns are a food that can be filled with a variety of meats and vegetables. Just one more thing to find. Moon cake. Whoa! Moon cakes are a popular Chinese treat that are often given as gifts during the Moon Festival. Woohoohoo! What a beautiful postcard! Select things on your postcard to learn more about them. Paper lanterns. When the moon arrives on the day of the moon festival, families send paper lanterns into the sky. Fireworks. In China, fireworks are an important part of Chinese New Year and moon festival celebrations. Moon cake. Moon cakes are a popular Chinese treat that are often given as gifts during the moon. Moon cake. Tea set. Tea is an important part of tea set. Tea is an important part of Chinese culture and is often enjoyed during the Moon Festival. Tea mm -hmm. Steamed buns. Steamed buns are a food that can be filled with a variety of meats and vegetables. Ste drummer. Chinese drummers perform for festivals and national holidays in China. Steamed buns. Drum Fire mo firework. Moon. In Chinese beliefs, the full moon represents family reunion. Home. Which city should we make a postcard from next? Next, Cusco, Peru. Start. Hola. Here in Peru, so many special things are hand woven and one of a kind. Let's match the pictures underneath the tiles to make a postcard from here. Hmm, let's keep looking. Chuyo hat. Whoa! The chuyo is a knitted hat often made from alpaca or llama wool. Wool. Ooh, nice match! Wool is hair that comes from animals, like alpaca, that is used to make clothing. I wonder where we should look next. Poncho. Way to go! A poncho is a woolen garment that is worn over the shoulders for warmth. Dancer. Great job! Pollera skirts are very popular to wear during festivals and celebrations. Great job! Weavers in Peru use hand looms to weave cloth with colorful designs and patterns. Pollera skirt. Ooh, nice match! In Peru, pollera skirts are often embroidered with colorful designs. Just one more thing to find. Alpaca shears. Great find! 
An alpaca's fur is shaved with shears and spun into wool thread or yarn. Great job! You've completed your postcard! Select things on your postcard to learn more about them. Home. Which city should we make a postcard from next? Next. Tokyo, Japan. Start. Konnichiwa. Here in Japan, there are so many different types of art to see. Let's match the pictures underneath the tiles to make a postcard from here. Washi paper. Great! Washi is a handmade paper unique to Japan. Hmm, let's keep looking. Shoji screen. Whoa! Shoji screens are made of thick paper that let light pass through them. I wonder where we should look next. Kites! Way to go! Japanese kites are often beautifully painted with popular heroes or Japanese characters. Japanese painting. Great match! Japan is known for its many different styles of painting throughout its history, including watercolor. Let's try another tile. Kaiju movies. Way to go! Kaiju means strange beast in Japanese. Kaiju movies feature these beasts and monsters. Origami! Way to go! Origami is the art of folding objects out of paper. Just one more thing to find! Kintsugi! Great match! Kintsugi is a Japanese art that repairs broken dishes using a gold lacquer to hold the pieces together. Great job! I really love your postcard! Select things on your postcard to learn more about them. Kaiju movies. Kaiju means strange beast in Japanese. Kaiju movies feature these beasts and monsters. Origami. Origami is the art of folding objects out of paper. Shoji screen. Shoji screens are made of thick paper that let light pass through them. Washi paper. Washi is a handmade paper unique to Japan. Japanese paintings. Japan is known for its many different styles of painting throughout its history, including watercolor. Kintsugi. Kintsugi is a Japanese art that repairs broken dishes using a gold lacquer to hold the pieces together. Kites. Japanese kites are often beautifully painted with popular heroes or Japanese characters. Home. Which city should we make a postcard from next? Next, Barcelona, Spain. Start. Hola, it's the San Jordi's Day in Barcelona, Spain. Such a special time to celebrate friends and family. Let's match the pictures underneath the tiles to make a postcard from here. Hmm, let's keep looking. Miro Mosaic! Woohoohoo! On the street of Las Ramblas, you can walk over the beautiful Miro Mosaic by Juan Miro, which is made up of lots of tiny colorful tiles. Postcard stand! Cool! Sometimes it seems like there isn't enough time to spend with our friends. But sending a postcard is a great way to celebrate and keep in touch with each other. I wonder where we should look next. Oh, Luna! <laughs> Woohoohoo! In this area, San Jordi's Day is a celebration of love and friendship. Cool! 
Oh, if you buy a book on this special day, the author might even be there to sign it. An author is a person who writes books. Roses! Ooh, nice match! San Jordi's Day is celebrated with the exchange of books and roses between loved ones and friends. Carmen, great job! Wow, look at all of these friends exchanging books and roses to celebrate San Jordi's Day. Just one more thing to find. Andy and Leo, great match. San Jordi's Day reminds us that friendship is a wonderful thing that can last a lifetime. Way to go! You completed your postcard. Select things on your postcard to learn more about them. Postcard stand. Sometimes it seems like there isn't enough time to spend with our friends. But sending a postcard is a great way to celebrate and keep in touch with each other. Miro Mosaic. On the street of Las Ramblas, you can walk over the beautiful Miro Mosaic by Juan Miro, which is made up of lots of tiny colorful tiles. Carmen, Carmen, wow, look at all of these friends exchanging books and roses to celebrate San Jordi's Day. Andy and Leo. San Jordi's Day reminds us that friendship is a wonderful thing that can last a lifetime. Luna! <laughs> In this area, roses! San Jordi's Day is celebrated with the exchange of books and roses between loved ones and friends. Luna! <laughs> In this area, San Jordi's Day is a celebration of love and friendship. Books! Books! If you buy a book on this special day, the author might even be there to sign it. An author is a person who writes books. Home. Which city should we make a postcard from next? 